This is one of the largest housing blocks in the center of the Slovenian capital, Ljubljana. It's called 650 Apartments. The award-winning building was designed, planned and built by the Orfis Architecture Office. Spelevedechnik is one of the two founding members of Orfis. These very long stripes uh, we divided them into four, um, uh, four segments, into four th the same repetitive segments that are actually staircase with apartments. And they are completely repetitive. That repetition meant to us possibility of fast building and also cheaper, uh, cheaper building. The window elements, the balcony elements, everything basically are the same modules, just that they are distributed in a way they don't appear repetitive. Orfis specialize, among other things, in state-subsidized housing. Spela Videchnik and her business partner, Rock Oman, set up the company in 1996 after meeting at Ljubljana University as students. The two architects have already won numerous national and international prizes. In 2009, this chapel near Ljubljana was named Religious Building of the Year by the renowned internet portal ArchDaily. The extension to this privately owned villa in the Slovenian town of Bled won an award at the Architecture Biennale in Miami in 2005. Actually, that's why also we are not keen of explaining architecture. It's just there and you go to see or you feel or you have some special feelings or you don't have. So it's like uh, music or you like it or you're excited. But I hopefully that you are never get bored of it. So. Orfis designs are eye-catching. This building is in a small town by the name of Nova Gorica, about an hour's drive from Ljubljana. The hallways, stairs and balconies are threaded through the facade. Each apartment has cantilevered space and each apartment has above uh, its windows cantilevered areas which uh, protects from sunlight and some areas where there are no cantilevered uh, canopies, let's say, so that there is sunshine in winter, for example, which is the opposite. So basically it's play of these terraces sticking out or in and then they are um, connected with this belt of the facade. These apartments in the Slovenian coastal resort of Isola are proof that living in style needn't be expensive. In 2006, the building was nominated for the highly prestigious Mies van der Hoa Prize. Slovenia was part of the former Yugoslavia until 1991. Since becoming independent, the country has enjoyed an economic upswing. The historical old city centre in the capital has profited from this newfound prosperity. Orfis remodelled the city museum in 1998. It was their first major commission. In West, people uh, respect tradition more and they respect certain values that got somehow lost in our transition period, let's call it. Like people who appeared in this transitional period, people who are turning the capital in our country now don't have cultural awareness or they don't want to have it. It's very much about, you know, getting profit in a very uh, fast time. The two architects have just been commissioned to build a new shopping complex in the centre of the capital. Moreover, whole new districts of the city are being planned.
Ofis has also made a name for themselves abroad with projects like this soccer stadium in Belarus or a student residence in Paris. We are very concrete, I would say. We really take very concrete things as a challenge, very concrete things as a starting point for each project. And we are visual people, so at the end, the, the, the product is, uh, let's say, visual. Spelevidechnik and Rok Oman are leading names in the world of architecture in their native Slovenia, and now they're fast becoming well-known abroad.